Now, a, a follow-up to the uh, Captain Fantastic process. Uh, I understand that Bernie is working on lyrics right now and that you want to take a similar approach to a new project. And we, yes, we wa I'm on a big tour. I've done 126 shows on the farewell tour. I've got 200 and, 244 to do, 224 to do. Um, and we're going to Australia for three months um, because I'm doing 42 shows in Australia and New Zealand. Um, and I thought, while I'm down there, I'll get a piano in and maybe I'll write some songs when I'm on the road because it's very difficult for me to write songs. I just write normally in the studio or when I'm having to, well, I have to write an album. Um, I'm not a guitarist, so I don't carry music around with me. I, uh, I sit down at a piano and you don't take a piano uh, easily on the road. <laughs> So I'm going to write some songs to his lyrics and see how it goes. I'm going to try and remember them. I'm going to try and see if when I'm 672, if I can still remember them the same as when I was 26. So I'm going to do that, yeah. And uh, this particular tour, the Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour, uh, it was inspired at a family meeting when you, you kind of saw a chart projecting into the future for all of the special moments in life that would be uh, coming up, that could be anticipated in the lives of your children. And you were asked uh, which ones you wanted to uh, be there for, and you said, all of them. And, yeah. and so that was the impetus for this tour and the scheduling around it. Yeah, about five years ago, we, or four years ago, we sat down and, and David said, well, listen, the landscape has changed. Ten years ago, you would have probably wanted to go around the world and you know, play it all for the rest of your life, die on stage, that kind of thing. And he said, what do you want to do now? And I said, you know what? I'm so fed up with traveling. All I want to do now is um, spend time with my children. I've never had a family before. I love this so much. I love them. They need me. They need us. Um, so he said, what do you want to do? So I said, well, I'd like to go around the world and say goodbye to all my fans wherever I can um, and stop traveling. And he said, okay, we'll plan that. So we planned that, we planned the film, um, and then we planned the book. And it's funny how the film and the book have come out in the same year that I started the tour. That wasn't gonna be the plan necessarily. You can't plan for when a film is gonna be finished, but it was coincidental. But so I, I said, yes, let's uh, go on a three-year, um, 350 shows, um, and let's just say goodbye. And I really don't want to travel then. It's not to say I'm going to stop doing things. I'll make records, I will write musicals, and I will do the odd show here and there, maybe a residency, but it won't be traveling. I will never be in Australia again, France, all over Europe. I'll be in England or in America, and that's it. But I don't know where, I don't know when, and I don't know if that even will happen, because I may stop and think, oh, thank God, I've done over 5,000 shows. So, these poor little fingers. Um, but you know, life changes. Life throws curveballs at you. And um, my children were curveballs. They've been the best curveballs of my life, apart from David. Um, and it's just so wonderful to wake up in the morning and hear their voices. And so, for the last bit of my life, I want something different. I know, I've played so many shows. I've loved it. I've had enough applause. I've been so successful, what more can I do? Um, music will always be part of my life. I will always be creative. But I owe my children and my husband uh, the support of being there for them, and that's what I want to do. And obviously, <laughs> and obviously you felt that you owed your fans something too because your performances on this Farewell Yellow Brick Road tour have been nothing short of phenomenal. You have really presented uh, a magnificent production uh, to, uh, to take around the world to thank your fans for their loyalty through the years. Well, I wanted to go out with a bang, and this is a bang. Um, <laughs> it's no point in doing a final tour unless you raise the bar. We raised the bar on our production. We raised the bar musically. I'm singing better, I'm playing better. The band is also doing the same thing. And it's essential. If you go out, don't go out on a whimper. Don't go out and just do it for the sake of it. I'm really loving going and playing to, the, to my fans and saying goodbye. And every night we go out there and it's been, we've done 126 shows and there hasn't been a bad one. They seem to get better. I'm loving it. And the whole point is to say thank you and look at this, hear this, 
because I'm so grateful for the life I've had. I'm so grateful for my talent and everything like that and go out in the strongest way possible. And that's what we're trying to do. And this past spring saw the premiere of Rocket Man. Uh, what has been your takeaway from that five months later? Uh, from the film, um, it just gave us another boost. I mean, the film was such a success. Um, it, you know, it, it was the film I wanted to make. We didn't make a, 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 um, you know, a PG film. We, we wanted to make an R film because my, my life has been R. <laughs> R. Mm. Uh, mm. It could have been um. All right, it could have been um. There's a lot of yeah. art in this yeah. book. Yeah, there's a lot of art in this book. Yeah. Um. Uh. And that was with an R, so we will get past that's the an censors. R's, yes. So uh, yeah, it's you know things have just worked out. This is the best year of my career, and I've had the most incredible career uh, with the, the tour of the book. Um, you know, The Lion King coming out again, and various other things happening. I've written two musicals. Um, and so oh, I'm very, very lucky. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. While you're here, check out these other videos.